All right, today I'm going to go to the Berg Hohenzollern. The Berg Hohenzollern. That's how you pronounce that. It's uh, pretty cloudy today. Uh, not really a good day for if you want a good view. But I'm here, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to walk up the hill, take a tour, and tell you a little bit about it. Enjoy. All right. So I'm walking up this hill to a castle I think is up here. Whew. It's a steep walk. This is kind of a steep walk. Good exercise. I should mention that there's a, a shuttle bus, but I didn't feel like waiting for it. Whew. Now I kind of wish I had. Just keep walking, just keep walking, making progress. I can see the castle up there. Whew. It's pretty much straight up. Why would they need to build a castle way up here anyway? For crying out loud. All right, here's a view looking out towards the valley. Obviously, you can't see very much up here. Here's the wall. Big wall. And more stuff over there. Now i got to go back to that ancient drawbridge bridge and gate. Show my ticket, and the king shall let me in. Uh, here's another gate. Kind of inside. Looking down into a little courtyard. I like these little metal things here. I wonder what they are. Oh, someone left the Mark of Sarma in there. It's inside the dome. Door. I like these bricks on the ground. Is there detail from inside the arch? One of the arches, anyway. There's some sort of carving into that. I have no idea what it says. But still, it's interesting detail. Ooh, look at those holes in the ceiling. I bet you those are to help hold locked doors into place. And actually with all the clouds, it gives us kind of a eerie look to it. Now, if this doesn't just scream medieval times. I don't know what would, except for the electric lights on top. I wonder where that goes. I have no idea, but I'm not sticking my hand in there. That's for sure. kind of picture some knights and they're riding their horses in through this tunnel here. Yeah. Have to say this tunnel kind of goes on goes on forever. Who knew a castle would be this big? Yep, the clouds are coming right in. And if going around a circle was three times inside wasn't enough, they decided to make it go around outside too. Prussian Hohenzollerns land. Okay, you probably have to use your imagination. This is the area you just walked up. That was the gate, I just went in. There you walk, walking up. 
and a nice view overlooking the valley. Snarwatch <laughs> Bastai. I bet you that means that this is a watchtower. You can certainly watch from up here. Yep, I think I can protect the gate down there from here. Just give me some hot oil, some arrows, I'd be good. That's very thoughtful of the king. He even has a little bistro for you hoons to come drink their water. Wow, I love the detail on the building here. Look at that. Here, here is Frederick Wilhelm IV. Looking very statuesque today. <coughs> being protected by this nice cannon. Here's inside of the courtyard a little bit. You can tell it's really foggy up there. Oh look, you can see the time. 2.55. I, I believe the date on the cannon looks like 1722. That's an old cannon. that I won't be able to take pictures inside because that is forbidden. I'm going to take some video out here. And right now I don't know what the statue is about. That's pretty cool. Slaying the dragon. So this appear this appears to be Saint Michael's Chapel, consecrated in 1461. It's the oldest preserved parts of the castle. The stained glass windows were made in the 13th century. Very interesting. And this is inside one of the chapels. Look at that stained glass. Wow. The arching, <clears throat> some wooden statues. Look at the stained glass on this side. Look at the detail on that stained glass. Wow, pretty amazing. Gonna do my manual zoom backwards. This is actually the mechanism that that raises and lowers the drawbridge, not opens the doors. As evidenced by the chain going into the wall. Well, I finished the tour and uh, went inside, paid the whatever it was, the 12 euros for the parking and the tour. Now, time to head back. Uh, I didn't take any video inside the castle because you're not allowed to, but it was it was pretty nice. Uh, one thing that you got to watch out for if you do come and you want to take the tour is that the, only some of the tours are in English, so you have to plan accordingly. I missed the English tour by probably 15, 20 minutes, and I didn't want, want to wait another hour for the next one, so I just went on the German tour, and uh, I probably wouldn't, I didn't get that much out of it, but I still got to go inside and see the castle. But I would have gotten a lot more out of it if I had... Uh, taking the English tour, so I would have understand what we're seeing. Now, to head back to my car. Fortunately, downhill is a lot easier than walking uphill. You can take the shuttle. There's a shuttle bus that comes. Uh, but in a beautiful day like today, when it's nice and sunny, who doesn't want to walk? Come on. <laughs>